Calm's canoe struck this sand with the force of destiny. At his back, the greatest war host in Kardui history tamed the wild sea, their canoes coupling with the land one by one. Lion eyes gemlings met us with shining metal and bold words. Hyri's arrows withered their pride, Calm's axis silenced their despair. Marseus Lion Eye fought bravely to the last. Calm honored him with a place on his belt. Calm has shown Rayclast our Karui strength. Calm will teach Rayclast the Karui way. The Warden's Witch has drowned the caves, barred our way with her charms and curses. We Karui have something stronger than her shadowed wiles. We have the spirit. I, Lavianga, have summoned the will of our ancestor, Kahulor the Navigator. His breath fills the shells I have crafted. His words seduce the sea. The waters retreat at his behest. The Karui way prevails. Calm has removed the eternal stain from this coast. The Empire's citizens decorate our meeting houses with their heads. Our warriors build homes for our families. Our families till the earth, fish the waters, fill the air with song. The Karui Way is yet a seedling here, but it grows, gains in pride and power every day. Calm has kept his promise. The time of the Karui has come. Black storms descend on us from the north, unnatural tempests of rage and hatred, lashing our backs, tearing at our houses. The rain is shot with shadow. It withers our crops, sickens our livestock. And the wind, the wind carries with it a restless spirit that breeds melancholy and madness, a spirit that creeps through our dreams, weaves tales of misdeed around our resting minds. We try not to listen. We try to remember ourselves. Some of us forget. Brothers fight. Brothers die. Calm punishes those that quarrel, that steal, that murder. Yet still the nightmares goad us into malefaction. We, Karui, are banished from sleep. The earth of Rayclast rejects the dead. The black spirit of storm and dream now reaches into the ground and raises up our slain imperial foes. It leads the fallen from their graves and drives them to fight us beyond the end, rotted tooth and jagged nail. Our own remembered have joined their cursed ranks. No longer may we give our beloved to the birds, messengers of spirit to the sky, conveyors of flesh to the earth. Calm has commanded us to destroy our remembered with axe and fire. Calm is the bravest of us, willing to bear the ire of the ancestors for the survival of his people. The black spirit infects living flesh and bone. The animals suffered first. Their bodies changed, their eyes filled with a hatred of mankind that is beyond instinct. Now it is we who must bend and bow like saplings before the seaborne gale. The firstborn of the kingdom of Calm greeted us this day. The firstborn of the kingdom of Calm was buried this day. Even our children are not spared the black spirit's touch. What have we done to enrage Rayclast? We look to calm. Our king will lay the spirit of this land at peace. Calm stands before us and looks out to the raging sea. He sings, calls, screams to our ancestors to come to our aid. He offers them gifts of old, a feast of heart and mind, muscle and marrow, cooked in the fire and rock of this angry land. 
We have not practiced these ways in so many years. Only in the darkest of times, most desperate of times, do we perform these oldest of rituals. Only here and now may we sacrifice and consume our own. Only in our king can we trust this return to our ancient selves. Calm is gone. Our king has taken our finest 500 warriors and descended into the depths of Rayclast. He spoke to us of a vision, a gift from the ancestors. Calm has been deceived. The vision was a gift from the Black Spirit. It has conquered Calm. The Black Spirit has conquered the Karui Way. Hairi has made ready her canoes. We will take those that are left, 500 forgotten families, and carry them back to their true homes. Back to Nga Makanui. Calm's promises have led us into nightmare. Hairi will lead us back to the dawn. <laughs>